Welcome to Athens on Air. I'm Cameron Moses. And I'm Lexi Goki. It's now time to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance or observe a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Here's what's trending. The archery team will be having an interest meeting today after school held in the cafeteria until 3.30. Also, today after school, there will be a boys basketball team tryouts for junior varsity and varsity from 2.30 to 4. Freshman tryouts will be on Thursday from 4 to 5.45. Those interested must have an updated sports physical turned into Coach Brecher by their appointed tryout time. Tryouts for the girls basketball team will be today and tomorrow from 3.45 to 5.15 in the large gym. Please bring basketball shorts and shoes. Tomorrow, sophomores and juniors will have a makeup day for yearbook pictures during their math class. Notes will be given to teachers on when to send students down. If you do not have a math teacher or Miss Pearlie, please come to room 124 to still have your portrait taken. Seniors will make appointments for portraits beginning October 25th. More information will be provided through math teachers in the Senior Google Classroom. A link will be sent out after all photos are taken for ordering. If there's any questions, they can be emailed to rachel.rice at jefferson.kyschools.us. Last week, Atherton offered seniors the opportunity to retake the ACT for free. Some students took it in hopes of raising their scores for colleges, others in hopes of becoming post-secondary ready. Here's a few students and staff sharing how they believe it went. The last two years, the state of Kentucky has paid for all seniors to retake the ACT, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them to get another shot before college applications are due, to get their scores up, and potentially earn more scholarship money. Um, I think the ACT is pointless, and I think that it stresses people out for no reason, and you can apply test optional to most schools anyways, so I really don't think there's any pay point in taking it and after we we took the ACT on Thursday we all walked out and everybody's eyes were bloodshot and I just think it's pointless and stupid. The math section was like way harder. I got maybe four questions right if I'm lucky and also the gym was like 40 degrees. I kind of like taking the ACT. I think it's kind of like a game. Um, I don't like getting my score back but taking the ACT is fun. The test went really smoothly. We had um, three-fourths of the senior class participate, and it was a great day. They, they did really awesome. We wish for everyone to receive the score they were looking for when they receive it in three to eight weeks. Here's what else is trending. The annual blood drive is happening here at Atherton on Wednesday. If you're signed up to give blood or to volunteer and have any last-minute questions, please ask Ms. Green. After school on Wednesday, the swim team will be meeting in Ms. Goodwin's room. This is for anyone who is interested in joining the team. There are now sign-up sheets and schedule available in the main office for the bowling team. Practices will begin to be held every Wednesday and Friday from 4 to 6 at 10 Penn Lanes by the St. Matthews Mall. The first practice will be on Wednesday, and don't forget about the brief parent meeting. HOSA's annual fall festival will be on Friday from 4 to 6 before the football game. Tickets are currently being sold at a discounted price in the cafeteria. There will be a food truck, booths, and fun activities like pumpkin painting, candy toss, and cookie decorating. Come support HOSA! Atherton is also planning a haunted house and a trick-or-treat event for the next Friday, the 27th. More information will be coming soon. The Service to Service Club is inviting students, faculty, staff, and military family members to their second Veterans Day recognition ceremony. It will be held on Friday, November 10th at 8.30 in the auditorium. A Google form will be sent out within the next few days for students to sign up to attend and to list names of their military family members who are also going to be in attendance. The academies are always working hard around the school. The engineering pathway has been building something they'd like to call trebuchets. They even went to Purdue to participate in a pumpkin launching competition. Let's take a look at their inventions. Today uh, with the engineering two and engineering capstone classes we are building trebuchets which are basically like medieval launching devices. Um, our goal with our trebuchets is to launch pumpkins. Our goal is 100 yards, which is the length of a football field. First of all, we just thought it was like a cool idea, just, you know, launching pumpkins across the field. I just think that's so fun to do. Uh, we just, it's also a good way to test the engineering design like process. We did a lot of research before this. We went, we did about, I think, three weeks of research before we even decided to build it. Uh, and we also, we used a 3D modeling software called Onshape to design the whole thing out. <laughs> and then and then we printed out those pieces so we can have the measurements exact. And then we have four different teams, design, math, assembly, and cutting team, which they all did something simultaneously. But then we all came together to help create the yeah. trebuchet. Wow, that was so cool. 
Let's also wish a happy birthday to Arisa Ridzik and Simon Whitworth. That's all the time we have for this episode of Afterton On Air. I'm Lexi Goki. And I'm Cameron Moses. Rock, Rock on, on Ravens! Raven.